hold thy desperate hand. Art thou a man? Thy form cries out thou art. Thy tears are womanish. Thy wild acts denote the unreasonable fury of a beast. Unseemly woman in a seeming man, and ill-beseeming beast in seeming both. Thou hast amazed me. By my holy order, I thought thy disposition better tempered. Hast thy slain, Tybalt? Wilt thy slain thyself and slay thy lady that in thy life lives by doing damned hate upon thyself? What roused thee, man? Thy Juliet is alive. For whose dear sake thou wast but lately dead, there art thou happy. Tybalt would kill thee, but thou slewest Tybalt, there art thou happy. The law that threatened death becomes thy friend and turns it to exile. There art thou happy. A pack of blessings lights upon thy back. Happiness courts thee in her best array. And like a misbehaved and sullen wench, thou pouts upon thy fortune and thy love. Take heed, take heed, for such thy miserable. Go, get thee to thy love as was decreed. Ascend her chamber hence and comfort her. But look, stay now till the watch is set, for then thou canst not pass to Mantua, where thou shalt live till we find time to blaze your marriage, reconcile your friends, beg pardon of the prince, and call thee back with twenty hundred thousand times more joy than thou wentst forth in lamentation. Go before nurse, commend me to thy lady, and bid her hasten all the house to bed, for heavy sorrow makes them apt unto. First, I want to let you know how much I appreciate all the work you've done in the apartment here. In a short five weeks, you have managed to capture the subtle yet elusive mood previously only found in the Port Authority bus terminal. In addition, you've somehow lost or forgotten the name of the moving and storage company with whom you place $55,000 worth of our furniture. That coupled with the fact that you disappeared eight days ago on what was ostensibly a trip to Gristiti Brothers to purchase strawberry yogurt and did not return to this evening has led to a certain amount of confusion for me. All confusion, of course, vanished with the arrival of a touching yet concise note from Mr. Smith, Klein, Fishback, and Fishback, saying, We have been retained by your wife in the matter of your divorce, and said wife requests that her whereabouts be unknown to you at present. After spending eight days of staring into an air conditioner, wondering which Cristidi brothers had my wife, which Santini brothers had my furniture, and which fishback owned my soul, a light began to dawn. Or maybe one went out. And I realized no one was keeping you from me, said wife, that your whereabouts have been unknown to me for years that you make a fine letter writer, a great decorator, and a perfect stranger. And said husband, hereinafter referred to as gone, has had it. 